Now, nearly 10 months after BLM rioters ransacked Minneapolis, the city is bracing for more destruction. Jury selection in the trial of Derek Chauvin, one of George Floyd's alleged killers, is set to begin tomorrow. And today's proceedings were delayed after state prosecutors sought to add a third-degree murder charge for Chauvin. City and county officials are expecting weeks of chaos and plan on spending at least a million dollars on fortifications around the city. That number's going up. But after a year of vilifying law enforcement, our locals confident that, well, their businesses are going to be protected. Joining me now are Casey White and Charles Stotts, the owners of Talk Diner and Gastro Pub, who watched their business burn to the ground last summer. Now, Casey, it's good to see you tonight. I first met you last August, where you're standing right now, yes. right in front of your diner. And I can see it's, um, well, that's the old photo, but old footage, but I can see it's still <laughs> not standing behind you uh, today. And there's your husband, no. who I didn't have a chance to meet. But tell us what you're feeling ahead of this uh, trial. Um, gosh, you know, I, I definitely worry for the city with the trial coming up. I mean, obviously, it's something everyone's been talking about for some time now. Um, there's the conversation that, or, you know, that we do have more security in the National Guard here with uh, the trials beginning, but are, is that going to be focused, all of the security in downtown Minneapolis where the trials will be, or is it also going to be for the surrounding neighborhoods that were affected uh, last summer with the rioting? Charles, the Minneapolis Police Department uh, reported that homicides soared 71 percent last year. That's a trend we've seen across the country, sadly. So, again, this trial is, is going to get underway shortly. And I've walked those streets. I talked to all those incredible business owners. Uh, but is there enough fencing to protect what's left of, of Minneapolis and that particular part of the city if things get out of hand, given the fewer number of police officers? Enough fencing? Absolutely not. Um, the way I see it, not only have homicides gone up, crime and violent crime have both escalated in Minneapolis. Last year at this time, the research that I've done, there were 877 police officers that were active uh, in the city. Um, this year, that number is down to 638. We have a police chief that's asking the city council for 6.3 million dollars to fill those spots the city council says no or at least uh, is dragging that process out when they submitted their budget last December they mm. chopped 19 million dollars out of the port police portion of the budget which certainly would do which would yeah. go towards some training so well, as Casey, a city council I'm sorry to interrupt but it's is can. yeah this is unconscionable it is People have to understand this. Like, this it's, is Minnesota nice. Minneapolis, St. Paul, was one of the most, I mean, it is an incredible place. Everyone knows I spend a lot of time there, especially in the summer. Not in the winter, but in the summer. I love it. <laughs> I was shocked to, I was shocked what I saw. And I was heartbroken for you, Casey, because you guys worked your tail Thank off you. to, to build your business and, it, and people who've built a business, they know it's sweat from morning till night. <laughs> and you're still... A lot of, you, lot you, of you're hours, still, yep. You're still in ruins there. Oh, abs absolutely. You know, not just us, other businesses as well. Oh, what, what's next, Charlie? What's next, what's next for you? Well, ideally, we want to, you know, get get past this trial there's a while the well mr floyd's death is certainly at the forefront of uh what it's going to take for some things to heal in minneapolis and st paul there's a lot of healing that still needs to be done and i think it starts by getting the trial underway and getting this behind us but there's plenty of uh there's plenty of secondary victims behind behind mr floyd uh that the whole that we got to get this world and get our city rebuilt so we can yeah. get ourselves wow. back in operation.
Yeah, well, we don't we don't get to burn down cities when we don't like the outcomes of trials. Let's get that straight first of all. There's a lot of, a lot of trial outcomes that a lot of us don't like, but you don't have the right to burn down other people's businesses as heartbroken broken as you might be. Casey and Charles will be following Absolutely. this. We'll check back with you. Thank you both.